Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is another look at a privacy setting in the Windows 10 April 2018 update. So one of the uh, things that Windows 10 does very well is of course um, sync between Windows 10 machines and of course you see this in the form of a continuary left off so you'll see um, you know a pop-up saying hey you were doing that on the other Windows 10 machine you want to continue here. Uh, you also have, of course, the sync of different information, including, for example, you see here my wallpaper. I've installed it on my Insider machine. It's synced to this machine. It's part of how uh, Microsoft um, Windows 10 works with a Microsoft account. Now, you might not want that to happen, and you might not want your data and what you're doing actually synced or sent to the cloud all the time. So there's a setting for that. If you don't want to have the continuary left off, of course, if you have only one machine, ain't very useful. Uh, if you only have one machine, apart from the fact that by syncing everything, if you reinstall Windows, uh, a lot of your settings come back. If you don't wish to use these types of settings, and you, you, you know, a lot of people fear these big companies like Microsoft that what they do with the data that they collect. Well. Simply go into your settings. In your settings, you'll go into privacy. And on the left side, there's something called activity history. When you click here, there are two little um, kind of check boxes that you can have a check mark on. I keep them because I find that useful and very, very interesting to have. Maybe you don't. So there's one that says, let Windows collect my activities from this PC. What's that? Well, for example, if you want to um, continue where you left off, that's how they actually use it. By collecting what you are doing, the activities on your PC, the continue where you left off works. Uh, another thing, timeline. Of course, that timeline feature here, if you actually have a continue where you left off, um, if, if you keep that slider of, of uh, that slider, that check mark of collect my activities, timeline uses that also also one of the things that you will have is because they kind of work together let Windows sync my activities from this PC to the cloud is another thing because this not only collects the information it tells you that that collects of information from the first check mark will also still be synced on the cloud using your Microsoft account so you see the Microsoft account used here at the bottom so you can, of course, check out which one. And if you have more than one Microsoft account, you can choose which one will have the sync capabilities. So uh, that's how this is where it happens. And if you don't wish to have that data shared or that data sent to the cloud, here's how it's happening. And here's where all of that you can remove the check marks starting from, you know, if you remove both check marks here, you won't have any sync capabilities between machines. If you have more than one machine, you won't have your activity synced to the cloud. Uh, it also has the, you know, bad effect that it, you know, if you ever have to reinstall, for example, it won't remember your settings. Uh, and if you have multiple Windows 10 machines, each machine will not know what the other machine was doing. So you, you can't continue where you left off. You can't share or sync the settings between machines and so on. So that's where it is. And of course, if you want to clear history, if you want to check out all the data, there's something at the bottom of the page, Manage by Microsoft Account Activity Data. This will send you online, and it will show you how and what is synced and kept at Microsoft. And you can, of course, delete all the activity. You can clear that activity from that page, and um, if that's something you wish to do. So activity history, once again, all you have to do is go into your settings. So you can, of course, go to your settings also by the start menu, by the way, and looking at the settings little pinwheel here, uh, go into privacy and activity history, and you will see everything that's in here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.